Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It really has been a very very long time and I do apologize for the lack of videos but this video is all about the natural glam for the fall boo boo. Okay so with further ado let's just get straight into this video. Alright so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prep my skin ready for this tutorial. Going in with my Garnier moisturizer followed by my Inglot mattifying primer. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead by prepping my lip with my Carmex and my MUA lip gloss simply because of the fact that I will be wearing a matte liquid lipstick for this look. Going into the brow and getting that ready for this look. Doing the normal shebang with my eyebrow, lining the top and bottom. brushing it in with my spoolie and then setting my whole eyebrow area so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my brows with my Estee Lauder double wear foundation and to let cover up concealer in NC 45 I use both of those for the bottom part of my brows and then just the Estee Lauder foundation on its own for the upper part of my brows So I'm gonna go ahead and prep my skin for foundation. I'm going ahead, I'm color correcting the areas of my face that I just feel like are dark or are uneven. Now I'm going ahead and just applying the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which is in the shade Rich Cocoa. Just going ahead and using my Real Technique Buffing Brush, uh, spraying in some Fix Plus by MAC, and I'm just stippling this brush um, and the foundation to get into my skin. Now the reason why I decided to spray in uh, the Fix Plus onto my brush um, was because I wanted a very, very nice coverage for this whole look. So I stippled the, I stippled the brush in and then I buff everything out for a very very nice flawless finish so the next thing I'm doing now is I'm going ahead and highlighting my face now what I'm using is my LA girl pro concealer in toffee and then I go over that with my select cover-up uh, concealer in NC 45 by MAC Now I'm just going ahead and buffing everything out and blending it out properly with my Real Techniques Miracle Sponge. And you don't want that harshness, that harsh line, so I go over the edges with my foundation brush that I used initially. Just to make everything sim seamlessly blended. That is what it's all about, that effortless look. That is what I'm going for with this whole tutorial. blending and blending out that ash line you're gonna be seeing me doing a lot of blending in this video you guys you know how much I love my blending blending is light blending is bay. just take your time in blending there's no rush I took my time okay like you can't rush perfection boo boo you cannot rush perfection just take your time and blend everything and then going back in with my foundation brush like I said blending and buffing out those edges Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and set all my highlighted areas with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. You guys, I jumped on the band on the bandwagon. 
whatever actually so i jumped on the hype you guys and this oh my oh I, I i get why everyone is on the hype about this powder it's very very natural and it's just so effortless it's not too harsh on the skin like the ben Nye is but i love it now i'm going ahead and i'm just giving myself a very nice contour when i'm using my bh cosmetic liquid foundation in the shade ebony And then I'm buffing it out with my Real Techniques Contour Brush. You don't want it to be too harsh. I'm going to go back in. You will see me go back in with my foundation brush just to blend everything out. Blending and just taking my time. It's all about blending it perfectly. And now I'm going ahead and doing my nose. Just trying to contact, give myself a bridge. <laughs> And then just using my fingers just to warm up the products around my nose area. And as you guys can see, my nose is a bit too long to get into the corner. So I have to go ahead and just use a flat foundation brush by Real Techniques just to help me blend out those lines effortlessly. So just taking my time and just blending it out. Blending is key, like I said. Like I said earlier on, so now I'm just going in with my foundation brush just on the edges just to buff everything out properly and seamlessly as well. Alright then guys, so now it's time for the eyeshadow. So the first thing I'm going ahead and do is just, it's just to prime my eyelid with my concealer by LA Girl. Then I'm going in with my Kiko eyeshadow in the shade Infinity, right in my crease. I'm bringing that a bit lower, followed by my Inglot eyeshadow in the number 335. Just on top of that, just like a gradient effect. You guys know how I like to do my eyeshadows. I like everything to graduate in an effect, just so that it's just seamlessly blend. I just, I love blending, so I like it to be all seamlessly blended together. Next, I'm going ahead with my MAC powder just to highlight and set my brow bone area. Just going back in with the brushes that I use from, uh, for my crease area just to get the colors back. Now I'm using Revolution Eyeshadow Palette and I'm using those three colors right there for my eyelid. I'm mixing them all together for my eyelid. Just to create like a rose goldy effect. Very, very beautiful and pigmented colors. Now I'm going in with this dark, sort of like a dark berry, like a berry eye, uh, shade, eyeshadow shade. And then I'm going in just to use that to blend out that color that's on my lid, just to blend it out. And then going back in, if I've missed any color, if I've over blended it out too much, I'm going to go back in just to pat that color on my eyelid, just pat it back on. And then just do some more blending. Now I'm going to go ahead off camera to do my eyeliner and my lashes. Now just because I'm very very extra, I'm going in with my Ben Nye Banana and Topaz Powder to set my highlighted areas. This is just for extraness, okay? Extraness is what it's for. To really brighten out my eyes, my highlight areas is what is the main purpose of this. Just to really make everything stand out. Now I'm going ahead with my uh with my cover girl, my cover girl bronzer in ebony, in ebony bronze, and I'm just using that as my contour to, and also to bronze out my skin. Mm -hmm. 
and now I'm just taking my powder brush I have nothing on this powder it's just a plain brush just to use that to blend everything together I'm blending my highlight and my contour areas just using the, this brush just to blend everything together seamlessly Next I'm going ahead with my Saint Tropez bronzer just to warm my skin up a little bit more just to give it a nice orange tint to my skin. Next I'm now going ahead and setting my foundation with my Revolution Pro Fix followed by my MAC Gold Deposit Mineralized Skin Finish for a very very lovely highlighting glow. I am absolutely in love with this, absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna add that right just to the, to the, my tear dot area and I'm gonna set my face again. And then with my, that powder brush that I used to blend everything out, I'm gonna use that just to smudge that highlight out a little bit more. And this is the lip color that I'm gonna be rocking. First of all, I go ahead with my lip pencil by LA Girl in the shade Plum, followed by my MUA Velvet Lip uh, Lip Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cocky or Cookie, Cocky Cookie, whatever. I'll put it down there. And that's the look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you do, please do give this video a thumbs up, and please subscribe if you're not. And I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. But until then, you already know what to do. Bye guys.